Welcome to a brand new video. Are you sick of losing the ball high, losing the ball left, and not hitting it as far as you should? Flipping the golf club through impact? Today's video, I've got you covered. I cover the three key reasons why you are flipping it, identify them, and then at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around, I give you a bonus pressure drill that gets you stop flipping the golf club. That's absolutely key. Pressure, compression, distance, reducing loft, these are all things that we need to achieve to be a consistent golf so make sure you stick around for that. So it's worth pointing out before we get to the bonus part of this video where we talk about how we can stop flipping the golf club. A lot of people when they try and stop flipping the golf club they get very tense through the golf ball, we lose club head speed, we lose control of the club face and it sort of becomes very counterproductive. I find a lot of people sometimes go backwards because of this. Now let's firstly start talking about three possible reasons why you are flipping the golf club. There could be a few possible reasons why we're flipping the golf club and ultimately it happens when the body's trying to react to something and it could just be happening for position at the top of the backswing, impacts or just the way you're aiming to target. So trying to get that ball back to target is one of the simple ways you could be actually flipping the golf club. The body's amazing, we actually find some ways of reacting to situations we don't even know what we're doing. So let's firstly cover the first reason why we're flipping the golf club. Very often I see a lot of people, and we have to do this, this is linking into what I just said a minute ago, as we're swinging down, if we come to last parallel here, if we've got a very, very open face, last parallel, and if we didn't flip the golf club, in essence, this way, or even this way, we would have a face that would be pointing very much to the right. So we actually have to flip that golf club through impact to get the ball to start towards target. So again, linking back to the body is a magnificent thing, we actually start reacting to what we're doing even if we don't know we are. So that would be my first key way. So last parallel, coming down, face very open, reaction to this in this motion, or a flip in order to get the face pointing back to square. Now, there'll be a reason why we're hitting the golf ball very high, because if you can see here, if I've got a face that's very open as I come into impact, and I try and square the face and get it pointing back to target, have a look how I have no forward shaft lean, I'm adding dynamic loft, I'm adding loft to the golf club impact, and this will cause my ball to start higher, weaker, and not travel as far as it possibly should do. Also, other reasons why the ball could be going to the right, we don't quite square up the face, or then it goes to the left, we overcompensate. Of course, from that position, we can play some very good golf, but we all want that word consistency in our game. And that way of doing it is not very consistent. To point number two, a very underplane downswing and a very into out club path. So if we look at it now in our simplest terms, if we've got a club path and a swing plane which is very much underneath and traveling to the right, look how this influences my club face. If I didn't have some sense of flip in this way or roll through impact, my face would continue to point to the right. So again, the first two points there are really the reason why you're flipping it could be a reaction to what's happening in the downswing or at the top of the backswing. So point number two is always looking at are we a little bit too much under plane and that is a reason why we're having to flip it to get that club face pointing back to target. That could be a very very simple reason why we're flipping the golf club. Let's move on to point number three. Point number three is for me the biggest point and one of the hardest things that I think a lot of people find hard to do getting the body moving. So I'm going to show you something here. If I was to make a swing and not move my body at all, so the extreme opposite. Look how this golf club would have to flip through impact because the arms are overtaking the body swing. If we now get the arms and the body synced up, look how the golf club and the club face can stay a lot more stable with the arms and body working together in its release pattern. So in simple terms, point number three, one of the reasons why you could be flipping the golf club we're not quite using the body as we should. So summary of the first three key points, the reasons why you're flipping the golf club is an open face pre-impact. And we would look at that in terms of this face pointing back and not matching the spine angle. From this position here, we'd like it more to be a little bit stronger. Point number two, an excessively into out path and a reaction 
to that. And finally, number three, the body not working as good as it could do and the arms overtaking the body, allowing this golf club to flip. Let's get into the bonus part of this video where we talk about how we can stop flipping the golf club with my super simple drill. So we're entering the bonus part of this video where we really get into how we can stop flipping this golf club. The absolute key area, if we can stop flipping the golf club, we can start to work towards that big word consistency. And anytime we're working towards consistency, we know that's going to lower our scores out on the golf course. So I want to just talk about a few things that have to happen with the body in order to facilitate this movement. So in order to facilitate this movement of the hands ahead of the golf ball and the club face under a lot more control, without getting tensed up, which is key, I'm going to keep repeating that, I want you to do this move, but I don't want us to get tensed up doing it because we're very often going to lose club head speed with that. So I've got a set up here, I've got two alignment sticks and a golf ball at the bottom of them and then I've got my shot that I'll hit afterwards. So with this, what we're looking for in the golf swing at impact, we're looking for the hips to be open more than the shoulders and we're looking for the golf club and the wrist to have a some sense of bowing through the golf ball, not cupping bowing through the golf ball because if we look at what this does to the golf club if we were to cup this looks very much like you guys that are flipping or scooping this golf club into impact if we were to bow it now we're de-lofting the golf club so we're reducing the dynamic loft the golf club has at impact this would lower our ball flight for one allow us to hit it further for two with an easier swing and finally if we get the arms and body synced up would have the club face under a lot more control and that's what we're looking for control and consistency here so in the overall thing we're looking for here hips opening up and a little bit of a bowing of this lead wrist to facilitate reducing the loft and keeping the club face square so I've got my drill set up here, two alignment sticks in the ground and a golf ball at the bottom. I call it the pressure drill and we want to create compression. So by doing this drill, I, I love it, it doesn't mean any swings, it's a feeling and a feeling to work to, work off it, then hit a shot away. So two alignment sticks into the ground, I want to take my address position and we're going to look at the differences now as we do this between where we want to be at impact, okay, at the moment a lot of you guys that are flipping are either here or hands behind the golf ball. What we're really looking to create here is the hips open first, left shoulder goes higher, hands ahead of the golf ball, pointing the logo towards target. And I want you to do this by putting some pressure down the golf club, through the body, and through into the alignment stick. And you can press quite hard here as you do this, and we're starting to create the opposite. We're starting to create a move that looks this way, not this way, or certainly not this way through the golf ball. So I would do two or three reps just feeling that, stood there on the golf ball, in the alignment sticks. Even if you want to swing back, swing down, create the pressure, swing up, swing down, create the pressure. I remember here my key points are feeling the lead wrist is bowing, the hips are opened up, and the shoulders are staying relatively square to our ball to target line. allow yourself to get that feeling and that's a real gold dust feeling because you can do that on the golf course as well and if you can do something on the golf course you can really start to do it as part of your pre-shot routine okay i'm going to hit this one away now i'm really searching for a feeling in this motion less of this and less of this this is the pressure drill certainly some pressure here on this shot left of the green not my best shot but it was an okay strike what we're looking for here is giving you some compression giving you a feeling of pressure into the golf ball and getting that club face under more control